In question six, you're asked for each exponential sequence, just determine whether it doubles or triples. So what's happening here? Four, eight, 16, two by four is eight. And eight by two is 16. So you're seeing that it doubles. This one here, it triples. You can see it's times three each time. And this one here, how do I go from two over five to four over five to one and three over five? So let's write this one as a fraction. That's gonna be eight over five. So we have two over five, four over five, and eight over five. You can see if you multiply each one by two, it's gonna double. So this one is doubling. Middle one's tripling, first one's doubling. This one here, seven, 19, 31, 43. We have to determine what type of sequence it is. So the differences tell us 12, 12, 12. So first difference is the same. This one's linear. You do need to write them out. 13, 39, 117. Looks like it's tripling. 351. So that's times three. That's also times three. 120 minus three. And 300 plus 51 is 351. So this is exponential. And then 1626. This one must be quadratic if the other ones aren't. Let's just double check. We have a difference of 10 for the first one. Then we have a difference of 16 and then 22. Second difference is six. So this would be 2a equals six. We may as well find the hit tn, even though we're not asked. a is equal to three. What would term zero be here? 22, 16, 16, 10, 10 will go to four. And 26 minus 10 is your 16, so 16 minus 4 is 12. So C equals 12. And then these two added together, 15 plus B, A plus B plus C is equal to term 1, which is 16. So B is equal to 1. So TN is equal to 3N squared plus BN, 1N plus C, which was 12. Check term two to know you're right. Three times four will be 12. Put two in for n plus two plus 12 is 26, which is term two. Practice your quadratics, become experts. Okay, here we have fine in terms of n, the sequence of these quadratics. So let's go up and do those. Two, eight, 12, 14. Practice these, you're gonna make mistakes. Practice them till you don't make as many and then you fix them all. So what's the differences here? We have six, then we have four, and then we have two. So the differences are getting smaller. And then from six to four is minus two. And from four to two is minus two. So two A equals minus two. A equals minus one. Term zero. We're going up this time, two to four, four to six. Dif this dif difference would need to be eight to keep a minus two difference below. And then eight minus six is two. Two minus eight is minus six. C is equal to minus six. And then these two added together, A plus B plus C is equal to term one, which is equal to two. So B would have to be equal to nine. So TN for this one looks like it's AN squared minus one N squared plus nine N plus C, which is minus six. And let's check term two. It's gonna be minus two squared plus nine times two minus six so we're going to have minus four plus 18 minus six which is 18 minus 10 which is eight and eight is the second term so you know you've done it correctly 
second one so it might be going a bit fast for you but you can pause the video and practice them yourself so 0 to 11 27 what are my differences going up two up nine and up 16 and you can see the second difference here is seven so it doesn't matter that's an odd number two a equals seven a is equal to seven over two or 3.5 term zero is here 16 back to nine so we're going down seven here so down to minus five and two minus two is zero so zero minus minus five is plus five be careful with these ones c is equal to five and then these two added together i'll write it as two 3.5 plus 5 i'll write it as 8.5 a plus b plus c so 8.5 plus b is equal to zero so b has to be minus 8.5 so tn for this one is equal to 3.5 n squared a n squared minus 8.5 n plus b plus c which is plus 5 and if we check term two, it normally works out tidy enough. 3.5 by four, four 3.5s would be 14, minus two 8.5, 17, plus five. So 19 minus 17 is two. And you can see the term two is two. Okay, onto the last one here. One minus three minus four minus two so just one that we have minuses you just got to be careful so one down to minus three is a drop of four minus three down to minus four is a drop of one and minus four up to minus two is an increase of two you can see here that the second difference goes up three up three So be careful it looks minus but the second difference is positive 2a is equal to 3 a is equal to 1.5 term 0 so we're going from 2 down to minus 1 minus 1 down to minus 4 so we're going down to minus 7 and 1 minus minus 7 is plus 8 so c is equal to 8 and these two added together a plus b plus c is equal to term one which is one in this case so b is minus 8.5 again so tn is equal to 1.5 n squared minus 8.5 n plus c which is plus 8 and we check term two we're going to get 1.5 by 4 which is 6 minus 8.52s plus 8 14 minus 17 is minus 3 we can see that term 2 is minus 3